Hello, my name is David Pugsley, and today I'm going to speak to you about fracking. Having grown up in southeastern Connecticut my entire life, I was unaware that this controversy was so close to my home. Two years ago, I moved down to Pennsylvania, and now almost daily, it is in the newspaper as well as on the local news on television. Fracking, or hydraulic fracturing as it's mainly known, is the process of pumping water, chemicals, and sand deep into the earth to extract oil and natural gas from what are called shale beds. Fracking originated about 1950. However, in the past 20 years, it has really expanded and moved eastward because of technological advancements as well as the techniques used to extract the gas. While many of the industry officials in fracking insist that it is a safe way to extract gas and oil and will be profitable for us, Opponents of this are concerned about the long-term health effects caused by water and air pollution and the possibility of seismic activity. As I said before, hydraulic fracturing, or as it's more commonly known, fracking, is a type of drilling used to extract natural gas and oil from shale beds deep within the earth. They drill vertical wells down and pump water as well as sand and these chemicals deep into the shale bed to loosen up the natural gas and oil and allow for easy extraction of it. In the past 20 years, I mentioned how that they have made technological advances. The biggest one would be the 3D imaging used now to allow them to pinpoint a site that should be used for a dig to start their well. However, industry officials say that our dependence on foreign oil will go down but some of the opponents of this say that we might end up supplying too much gas, causing the demand for it to go down and prices to drop significantly. The main two shales in the eastern part of the United States are the Marcellus Shale, which stretches from West Virginia, Pennsylvania, all the way through New York State, and the Utica Shale, which is a much deeper shale underneath the Marcellus, and that is mainly fracked in western Pennsylvania and in Ohio. Environmentalists are concerned about the effects fracking will have on us in the future because of the millions of gallons of water that are used in each well, as well as the chemicals used that might escape from the well and enter the groundwater of the area <clears throat> that they are drilling. As I said before, many of the, the many states that have the shale in it would be West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and New York. However, New York State currently does not allow fracking, and it does not look like they will change their position on this very soon. But Pennsylvania, their neighboring state, has over 6,000 wells currently running. Modern technologies have allowed them to also start fracking and doing horizontal drilling, which allows for more accuracy when trying to extract the gas and oil from the shale beds. And this has increased the productivity, and our production is now currently equivalent, or some say greater, to that of the OPEC countries of the Middle East. Costs have been decreased by this, and the production is continually going up. However, the supply has made gas and oil cheaper for consumers, but some fear that this increased supply may be bad for business. However, right now, being a welder or a truck driver in Ohio or Pennsylvania is a great job to have, and you'll have many opportunities in the future to, can, to stay employed. <clears throat> As for natural gas, we are currently said to be either the leader in producing it, or in the next five years, we will be the leading producer of it worldwide. Do there, are there economic benefits that would trump the environmental costs? Environmentalists, as I said before, are very concerned about the long-term effects fracking will have. And for example, such places as Ohio that have multiple seismic activity that they believe is directly related to their fracking operations. During his first term in office, Obama and his administration have began to work, began to work on regulating fracking and currently every state has their own regulations and rules regarding this practice. But the goal of Obama and his administration is to one day have everybody under the same umbrella and have them fall in the same practices nationally. As the practice has soared, 
Fights over how to regulate it have broken out. For example, in Pennsylvania, how it is allowed, and in neighboring New York State, it is not. And some border towns along the New York border are currently trying to move into Pennsylvania because they would like to tap into this well and help their economy by starting to frack as New York State won't allow that. And as I said before, it doesn't look like they're gonna allow it anytime soon. The main concerns about fracking are the amount of water being used. Water is a finite source and up to three to five million gallons are used every time they frack in a well in Pennsylvania. Also, the chemicals used in the extraction process may leak through the well walls or into the ground and then they will get into the groundwater contaminating that for that entire area. Another problem they see is the release of methane, methane gas into the air. And as I said before, like in the places such as Oklahoma, the possibility of seismic activity. However, in the long run, many say that gas is a much cleaner alternative to coal. Therefore, it should be our primary source of electricity, making fracking all but necessary evil to our country. <clears throat> in conclusion, fracking is something that is going to be fought over for a long time in this country, whether or not it should be allowed and whether or not the profitability outweighs the environmental impacts that are caused by it.